When you look at someone with paralysis, the first thing anyone notices is, of course, the wheelchair and your inability to walk. No question I want to eventually get back on my feet, but being able to regain total function within your hands and your fingers and your arms is extremely important to anyone with quadriplegia. And there were two parts to the study. One was an in-clinic with a physical therapist, and the other phase was done in-home. And so the whole point of the Spinex home-based portion was to show that it was safe to deliver this treatment in-home. When I was accepted into the trial, I think it was a combination of both nerves and excitement. What if something doesn't work? What if it doesn't happen? Where does that put my mindset? Okay. Let me feel it. I don't feel Okay. Jack realized spinal cord injury research needed someone to take the lead and put themselves out there. All right, get your mind right. Here we go. Go. The clinic portion of it was difficult in the sense of having to go there, having to take all the time out of your day when you're working a full-time job. And the nice thing was, is once you get to the second part of it, you can do it on your own when you get home from work. Jack's work ethic is unrelenting, unwavering. Oh, come on, there we go. Yes! I think when experiencing some of the breakthroughs, it's surreal in many ways. Wow, this is something I couldn't do, now I can. Jack is stoic, but on those days, I could tell he was excited. <laughs> we were both excited. See? Yes! So I have this device, Scone. It sends electrical stimulation through the spine, through two patches, one on my neck and one on my back. With the stimulation, it reactivates the nerves that were lost during the injury. Uh, and because of the stimulation, I've been able to pick up glasses, pour things, and even be able to drink on my own, which has been a, a great accomplishment. Watching him make these gains and knowing what that would mean for his independence really brought me a sense of justice for someone like Jack, who's constantly out there fighting for millions of people. All 24 participants saw meaningful changes from the study, but it's far from full recovery. All right, you're gonna work to open that jar up. You know, it's going to take time and it's going to take research and money and to help continue this momentum that we've been able to build towards changing the lives of people with paralysis and changing the quality of our lives. Oh,